Hi guys, welcome back. We're on tour of Just If you're new here, we're a full-time travel couple from the UK. We are currently at the airport, so this means a new trip, a new adventure. But we have booked the cheapest flights from here, London, England, all the way to India. It's going to be one of our longest travel days ever. First flight, we're flying all the way to Vienna, a new country we've never been to. And we've got the longest layover ever, no hotel booked and no idea what we're gonna do. We're here like mega early. Rian's mum kindly give us a lift to the train, got the train here. We're gonna do this on like the tightest budget ever. Got the cheapest flights, gonna do like no food in the airport, it's all gonna be bring your <laughs> stuff from home. Sorry, I was getting off the bloody escalator nearly tripping but there's loads of seating area upstairs so we're going to plop her down up here what is the time what time are we looking at then so we started our travel day at 2 20 is when we got the train into the airport it is now 20 to 4 now and our flight isn't until 7 20 so we have got a bit of time to kill look at us early love it the start to a very long travel day and the one time we get here way too early i say way too early it's like over three hours early but we're normally a two hour type of people and I've only been sat here an hour and I'm going to start crazy already and I'm like, where's the flight? I'm still it's got boring, two hours. isn't it? It is. Yeah. We'll get here early. Normally, like, if you go on holiday, like, you go to the bar, have about 10 beers, but obviously we're uh, budget travelling, so um, just sort of sat here. And, like, we're, and we're detoxing because um, we've had a lot of beer in the last few days. Yeah, there's been a lot going on at home. Phase one of the travel day, a little bit bored already. It's going to be a very long day, or a couple of days, or a few days, don't know. So my mum made us some um, sandwiches and for some reason we've ended up like with four. Ben's already ate one but we only wanted a small baguette. <laughs> so this is going to keep us going for a couple of days I think. The airport's actually quite quiet at the moment. It's normally uh, a little bit hectic but um, I think we're at quite a quiet time. Finally the time has come, our gate is finally up but 50 minutes before our flight departs we're making our way to the gate. I think that's like kind of a bit close. Oh my god, it has got extremely busy now, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? It was really empty earlier. I know, the two hours we've been sat there, it's like a thousand people have turned up. As you say, we haven't got much time to spare, so I think we'll be literally boarding straight away. Mm. And we're not sat together. It's unfortunately Wizz Air, a budget airline that always, always sits you separate unless you pay. And you know us, we're tight. We do not pay to sit together. I feel like if it's not too busy, we we'll just do a little bit of shuffling around with fine. Yeah, we're gonna do like a last minute get on there and hopefully one of us got like an empty seat. But I think I've got an aisle and you've got a window. So strange. I'm quite tired though, already. Already, I yeah. know. Our okay, gate was literally like a two minute walk, so I don't feel we'll be boarding straight away. But we've got loads of plane snacks. So we don't get stopped for having extra bags. We're actually though. quite like, fairly experienced. We're quite prepared today. We have. We, I actually went shopping, got some snacks in, got some yeah. food. And we knew this would be like a real long day. And obviously we've booked to like go cheaper to get to India to save money. So we don't want to be spending loads of money at the airport on expensive food. Okay, we've got through. Literally, we're going straight on the plane. We're going to sit down and wait in because they are late. I don't know how we get where it is. But we've still got to wave our bag. We're not on that yet. They might charge us on the plane. I don't know. But we're through. Just happy. There was literally a woman walking around with a as well. I know, but I think where they're delayed, they didn't do it. <laughs> ben. There's two places there if you want to put your bag up there with mine. Because time to the We've arrived! Oh, it's pretty chilly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was well a quick flight. It was only an hour and 45 minutes and it literally flew by. But now we've got a long, long layover. This is our first time in Austria and we've actually touched the tarmac so I think it sort of counts. Does it though? If you don't leave the airport it don't. Maybe not, don't know. And we're not planning on leaving the airport. Yeah, let us know in the comments. But by the way, like Rian just said, we're here for 12 hours. Our next flight is to Saudi Arabia. We have to find somewhere to sleep. So we'll let you know if there's anywhere free and comfortable to sleep here. Accommodation is about what's that about? $170? 170 US dollars, 150 pounds. But let's get through here and see what we're going to do now because I am getting tired. Yeah, I am. So we're a little bit confused now. So we've gone through border control. We are now officially are in Vienna in Austria, but we want to go back in. So we're heading to Terminal 1 
So we haven't got boarding passes because they have to check your travel documents. So we can't go straight in with our boarding passes. So we don't know if we're going to be able to go into the terminal. But let's go and see if we can work it out. Looks nice here though. Looks really nice. Like really clean and bright. And look at these chandeliers. What? Looks lovely. Beautiful airport, isn't it? Very nice airport. It's quite quiet as well. None of the check-in desks are open. None of the shops are open. It's going to be a long night. I don't know what to do now. Sleep on the floor, aren't we? So Terminal 3 seems to be one that with all the places open. There's like a Burger King, a couple of shops, and it's got loads of people in it. But if you head to Terminal 1, where all the gates are, like, was there where we want to check in, it's all dead and closed. And we can't find any seats, like, to settle down on at the moment. So we really don't know what to do. We're I'm, a little I'm, bit stuck. I'm feeling like we're going to have to, like, Rough it. Yeah, but where? There's no seats. I'm not sure. We thought we could have checked in and gone through, but our documents say that we need to check in through the counter to show some documents. But uh, why don't we like check this? We'd get in there and it'd be easier. But at the moment, we're just stuck out here. So at the moment, it's operation find somewhere to sleep. But yeah, I'm get, as it gets later, I'm just getting really tired now. There's a couple of hotels here, just like outside the airport, and we're just going to see if we can like go in there and lie in the lounge or. Just maybe See if they've got just, like an area. Maybe we we'll just chill out in the lounge and then we can close our eyes for a bit and they won't even really notice. Yeah, we're just gonna have a look out here. Thought that won't go open then. Oh, you gotta wow. do what you gotta do, haven't you? We've officially been to Austria, we're outside in the fresh air. But that's yeah. one of the hotels. It looks a bit fancy, I don't think we can just go in there. We're gonna have a little look, see though. Oh, it's cold. It's really cold. The problem oh. is we've got our bags, haven't we? Uh, a bit mac, aren't we? We do look we look like travellers. We look a bit obvious. Let's have a little walk around, see what we find. Oh wow. Alright, we found like a lounge area, we're just gonna sit here. If they ask us, we might just say, oh yeah, we might book in in a minute or something. Right. You know what I'm thinking? This is really comfy and it's quite hidden. I'm thinking about just sort of like, just having a little, little close of the old eyes here. Rihanna looks like she's <laughs> These pillows are well comfy. Yeah, I'm going to close my eyes for a minute to see how we get on. Alright, we're going to head back into the terminal and actually find somewhere to rest because I don't think we're going to get away with staying there. But it was nice to sit there for like an hour. We're going to head back into there and we might ask staff and be like, is there anywhere we can go and lie and sleep? We said we'd never do this again, but the flights were just so much more expensive and this was the only way we could cheap them down. And the hotels, as we say, are $170 here. So. I, feel, I feel like we're a little bit too, like... Old? Old and ugly for this. <laughs> ugly? To speak for yourself? Yeah, but it's just like, this is a young man's game. Like, travelling's hard, but yeah. especially when you do it, this is impossible. Especially when you've been drinking on the weekend for two days and need to catch up oh, on sleep. Oh, we've been relentlessly abusing them. Yeah, so we're both extra tired from that. I hope we can get back through this way. Before they won't go open then. <laughs> it was like a last minute thought go. If anything, we could just go to sleep. I'm sleeping here, I thought that. I thought that when we was downstairs. Yeah, but that door's gonna keep opening and you can hear the <gasps> We found a spot. We're literally on the floor in the airport. It was like literally the last good spot left as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean everyone's got the same plan as us because the check-ins are closed till I'm assuming about five, maybe five a.m. <laughs> yeah, so everyone's to sleep on the floor. It's now 12 a.m. We're tired. We've got another like 24 hours of traveling to go. Mm. So we're gonna see if we can get a couple of hours of shut eye. But as you see, it's quite bright here. It's not too noisy though. And it's not cold. I thought it'd be like really cold from the aircon. It's warm. Cuddle up here, snuggle for a few hours, see if we can get some sleep. We probably ideally could have booked a hotel. I don't fancy paying $170 for a hotel for like five or six hours. So I've got Rianne to feed me. Got another roll from Rianne's mother. Glad she made us loads now. I'm glad she made us loads. And I don't actually reckon we'll get probably no sleep because it's noisy. There's people coming past sweeping the floors. It's bright. You gotta do what you gotta do. As soon as we wake up, as soon as we can check in, gonna get through straight to the lounge for breakfast. So see you in the morning for some breakfast. Morning, it is now quarter past four in the morning, as you can see on the phone. We've got a few hours sleep, um, Ben's just gone for a wander to go and see if our check-in counter is open, so hopefully we can go through. As you can tell, I've just literally woke up, 
a little bit of sleep. Ooh, nowhere near enough, but it's got noisier now and loads of checking counters are opening. But I've got to look really cold and like stiff flying on the floor. But at least we've got a bit of sleep. We can go through it and hopefully go in a lounge. That's it. I'll let you know when man gets back. Thank God we got in the lounge. We had two free passes from our trip.com app that we use. We were like a diamond member and they gave us two free lounges and we just used it here and this is literally one of the best lounges we've been in. Not that we've been in many. We're not like good at travel hacking and getting free things like that. But this is so nice. There's like alcohol, a selection of tea and coffee, fried breakfast, hash browns, literally, if you know me, hash browns are like one of my most favorite foods. Granola, look, everything. And there's so much seating area here, look, loads. Huge. Everywhere you go, you've got like a workstation, charger station, and I've just got myself a calamari tea, and I'm so thirsty and dehydrated, so it's just some water. And then I might get something to eat, but I just need a drink for now. And we're just in a comfort seat, and I might have to doze again. This is lovely, this is just what we needed. It says we've only got three hours in it, but I don't know how much they keep an eye on you, so we're just going to see if we can do the six hours that we've got left for the airport in here, which would be very nice if we can. Right, what a selection. There was literally like hot food, pastries, cereals, like everything. I didn't know what to get. I just got like a load of everything. It's very, very Belgian, as you can imagine up there. Looks beautiful. The pastries, I think I'm going to have to go second round on the pastries but i just went for like a bit of everything i've got cheese and i don't really know bagel bagel yeah i mean it, it all looks amazing into the bathroom to freshen up i've got some face cream to moisturizer i want to be a bit fresh we've got like a five hour flight next so i'm gonna wash use my headphones as pulling my hair back but it's so nice in here i don't know if there's showers though i'll have a look in a minute but let's um Wash my face and that, have a little sort out. After nearly over five hours in here, it's time to leave. We're heading to our gate. I think we've got like literally 40 minutes. It says boarding now. We've literally left it as late as possible because we didn't want to leave. We kind of forgot we had to go through border control still and it took a while because we stupidly, every single time we get in like the queues that takes forever. We did forget, obviously Britain, Britain have left the EU so we've got to go on the all passports thing which takes a little bit longer and we don't think, we've got to think. There's our gate anyhow, people are still queuing but it says border on the gate now. It's 20 minutes away, where are you going? <laughs> there in front of us. Five hours though this flight, this is our longest one out of the three flights we got today. So we're flying from Vienna all the way to Riyadh. Saudi Arabia, first time in Saudi Arabia. First time in Austria, first time in Saudi Arabia. And we don't even get to explore the countries. <laughs> oh my God, we're like the last ones going on the plane. Whoopsie. It's gone lovely out now. Earlier on it was freezing, but now it's quite nice with the sun now. Oh. 12. Hello. Oh, don't look cool. Ooh, it's not full. Yes. Apparently sat separate, but there is a spare seat next to me. There's Bendy's in front of me. Are 
Arabia. That was actually an all work flight. That was obviously our longest of the day. Perks have an extra seat. Yeah, but it was, em it was empty. So, like, obviously, it was nowhere near as bad. It was actually quite comfortable. Yeah, first time in Saudi Arabia. So, this is sort of like our first impressions of Riyadh Airport because we've never been here before. The views from the window were amazing as well. Yeah, the it dunes. It looks so beautiful here and so clean and pristine, modern and new. We'll definitely have to explore it one day when we've got money. We've just got through passport control and loads has happened we'll tell you in a minute but first of all just want to say as we come through we were greeted by a security guard with a bottle of water and a date hospitality oh very good pipping it <laughs> very good so basically we're actually on the street i'm ticking this off as a, as a country i've done although we've actually got a year visa so we will definitely have to come back and get our money's worth but we will explain to you a bit more detail once we get through through departures Right, our flight is that one, 20.50, and it is now about 20 past seven. So we actually haven't got that long. Our gate's literally there. We found a spot to sit down for a bit because this has been a hectic couple of hours. So let me explain to you exactly what happened. So when we exited our flight, flying Wizz Air is the only airline which you can't transit straight through. You need to get a visa because it's like a self-transfer. And we've actually got to exit the airport and then re-enter the airport. So we just had to pay 150 euros for literally two hours. So, um, obviously, our, each. Yeah, each. So yeah, 300 euros. That's obviously all our budget. We've spent hardly anything on flights, but we've just maximised what we spent. Well, we could have flown it with, with one stop, but obviously, a little bit guys. Challenge is a little bit ruined, but because we saved so much money on the flights, it's not as bad as it could have been. And we've actually been into Saudi Arabia, so that's another country crossed off the list. We we're also thinking, because this visa is actually a year visa, you can't get any other visa, we had to get the year one. We're thinking that maybe after the next couple, India and Thailand we're doing, we might come back here and do it. We'll we don't see. know if we can afford it though. Yeah. We'll have to check out accommodations. Comment down below, have you been anywhere in Saudi Arabia? What do you think? Is it? affordable could we do it on a budget let us know hopefully we'll be back here in may but like i said we have got about an hour into our flight so it kind of killed a bit of time but we were like getting a little bit nervous that we were actually going to miss this flight at one stage because the visa process was ages because it was just like a machine i don't know we got lost outside the airport so it was a nightmare because one minute it wouldn't take rianne's photo yeah and we had to call the guy over and oh yeah we're getting very stressed it's, it's been really stressful. Obviously, we're tired now. Everything seems 100 times worse. Once we'll be there, we'll be happy, but it's, we left yesterday at two o'clock and it's now seven in the evening here. Some, somewhere along the line, we've changed time difference. We have no idea. I'm not being funny, but this long travel day is starting to get to me. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of it, wish, I wish, I wish that we just flew direct. We couldn't get direct. That was a problem. We could do a one stop but it was an extra like 100 pounds, maybe more per person. And I was like, so all these free flights together cost us 140 pounds to get to New Delhi, which is cheap really. That's yeah, I mean, that's unbelievable. But we've had to do free flights to do that. And we booked them all separate. Doing the visa was like 100 pounds. It was just turned out pointless, all this hard work now. Yeah, but it still ended up cheap, but it could have been a lot cheaper. So don't make this mistake. It's only Wizz Airline. We have no idea why. We are going to contact him after and be like, why didn't we get told this? Otherwise, we would have never booked with him. But yeah, we have one more flight and then we're going to be in Delhi. Boop, boop, boop. Time to board now. We've just been called to go on there. It's like 30 minutes before it's meant to take off. I think they look quick here. Um, we're going with Fly Nats. Never flown with them. It's a Salby budget airline. So see what it's like. It'll be interesting. Here's our gate. This is quite small, this airport, but I think there's like loads of different platforms. Everyone's boarding there. Again, we're not sat together, but it's literally in front of me, so we might be able to sit together. I'm not sure. But looks like a good flight. 22 We've made it to India, and I'm so tired. Thank you, bye. That's it. It's over, a long travel day. We've done our three flights. We finally made it to India. At one point, we thought we wouldn't, 
but we did. Never ever again. <laughs> we organised, we got visas done, printed off and everything for her. We did the e-visa online. We've been checked as we got off the plane. So far, seems all right. It's going to be the hard part though, is getting a taxi from the airport. Always is. Yeah, we've got obviously no SIM card at the moment. It's 3 a.m. So I don't even know. Half we're... free. It's half free, sorry. I don't even know if we're going to get one. And also, I need to contact our hotel to make sure they're still awake. Wish um, us luck. Okay, for 4 a.m. in the morning, it is bloody busy here. I'll tell you that. First of all, we're trying to find an ATM. The um, SIM card shop is open, but it's really busy. So, money first. First job of the day, 8,000 rupees out. Now we're gonna try for a SIM card, see how much they are. All right, SIM card done. We, hold on, let's get out of here. Oh, smells like burning. No, thank you. SIM card done, very easy, very helpful. They just basically, they come up to you and they talk you through it and just tell them what you want and they sort it out. So. They literally did it on our phone, it took about 10 minutes and it was 600 rupees per person and easy so much easier getting in the airport i think it's the same price as doing in the shop we're set up we've got a phone next thing is taxi but it's all smoky in here like it's fire fire yeah it's been fire apparently there's cool. prepaid taxi rank out here but yeah i'm not sure which way i feel like he put it that way oh. let's go and check out that way but we need a drink as well we're so thirsty so far going well it is now like what is the time it is a stupid o'clock it's like 4 39 in the morning we're both really lagging now tip when you come out the airport guys selling bottles of water for 10 rupees also we went to the prepaid taxi they offered it for a thousand we got it to 600 still a bit more but we just want to go home now this is a cool taxi all right we've just been shoved in our taxi and he's gone <laughs> <laughs> it's a really old school taxi it's proper cool it feels like we're in india oh i'm so excited to be here I love all of it. I love the culture, I love the bartering, and I really enjoy that. I used to hate it, but I think over time, I'm just like, got there's, good at it. There's nothing, well, there's nothing better than in India, they love it. Okay, thank you. This looks dodgy. There's our hotel. Oh, we're here. <laughs> we're in our room. Over 36 hours later, I have no idea how many hours it is now but we're in it. It took about 10 minutes in the car. Um, we've just booked like a cheap hotel that's just around the corner for two nights. So tomorrow we don't have to go up early and move and we're just gonna laze around. But this is our room. It's very basic as we said, but has bathroom, bed, and just everything you need. But I know in India, the bed's always hard. It's the culture man. Oh, it's actually not. Oh, that's right. Yeah, seems all right. But we're going to end it here because we need some sleep. Yeah, we have actually got breakfast in our room tomorrow. He said 9am. I said, I can't promise I'll be awake because I am shattered. I but it's coming to our me. room. True. Anyway, we're going to end the video here. The next video you'll see, it will be us exploring Delhi. Subscribe. So it's 25 minutes past five. Tell speak to Rianne. Rianne, it's 25 minutes past five. Um, sweetly, sweetly. <laughs> I can't even speak. We've officially been to Austria. Austria, is it? Austria. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of forgot we had to go through Borgen.